Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize the settings for the strategy that we've just created using the CTrader algorithmic strategy building tool. Um, for people that are new to this, please look at the previous videos. It's uh, show you how to use a, a tool, which you can just click and select indicators and build a strategy with no coding experience. And you can actually generate source code, as you can see here, that you can import into the CTrader platform, build it, and use it to run a CBOT or an automated trading system. So what I'm going to show you now is just how to optimize the settings that we got for our indicators that we created with our strategy. To do this, I click on the Optimize tab at the top, and I'm going to select one year back, so the 14th of the um, 12th to the 14th of the 12th, 2022. And this is one year of historical data that I'm going to optimize for. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with optimization, go to the help uh, files for this uh, product, this strategy building tool. It actually explains in more details why you need, why it's, why it's actually useful to optimize settings for a training system. There's a thing called overfitting and all the rest of it, but it's still fine to optimize indicators based on certain timeframes. And in this case, these two RSI indicators will benefit from optimization. So what I'm going to do next is go in the settings. I'm going to change my starting capital to something realistic like 1000. I'm going to set the live spread as 0.2, leave everything else as they are. Now, this is the key bit that you need to uh, be aware of. When you create your strategy using the tool, you need to know which settings to optimize and how to do it. So I'm going to click on here. I'm not going to optimize the time frame. I'm not going to optimize the lots. Um, I am going to optimize the um, stop loss. So I'm just going to go from 50 to 100. And my take profit, I'm going to go from 1 to 20. Now, I've always found that if you do a much larger stop loss than a take profit, you do get better results. Now, here I'm going to leave the time frame for the RSI strategy for a buy signal to be one hour. I'm not going to change that. I'm going to optimize the settings. And I'm going to leave it for the default optimization settings. It just gets your standard settings and adds or minuses certain values. Step is one. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to leave the second indicator for open up a bullish trade or a buy trade to daily. Optimize these settings. I'm going to leave that. You do the same thing for the sell indicators, leave those selected. So <clears throat> very simple, very basic. And now I'm not going to bother clicking anything else, depending on how fast your CPU is. I'm now going to select auto select the best pass, and I'm going to click the start button. Now what this is going to do, this is going to go ahead now and find um, the best settings for this uh, strategy based on um, the time frame that we're using for historical data. So it's going to take 13 minutes or nine minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. And I'm actually going to stop it when it's finished so you don't have to wait eight minutes or the rest of it. But the whole idea is it actually finds the best settings um, based on some of the rules that you've got here. If I click on here, it's got um, option optimization criteria. You can select anything you want, but this criteria is going to uh, maximize your net profit, minimize your equity drawdown, and maximize your winning trades. Personally, me, I don't think maximizing winning trades is is that makes any sense because it's about how much money you make over a period of time, even if it's two trades and um, how much money you risked. But a lot of traders feel that they want loads of trades open and otherwise what's the point of watching the charts? So that's the wrong way of actually looking at it. Now, the next one we've got is optimization method. I'll just leave that as genetic algorithm and how much CPU you want to use. So if you're not using the CPU, you just want to leave it running, slide this all the way across to 100%, it will run faster. If you want to use your CPU for doing daily, daily tasks while the optimization is running, leave it at something like this, 55%. It will take slower, but it means you can utilize the CPUs to do other stuff. So I'm just going to leave that running. I'm going to pause this video and come back to it in five minutes. OK, the optimization is completed. Uh, the results are shown at the bottom. Um, so this is just an equity graph. You can go to trade statistics by clicking on here, and it gives you all the trade statistics. Um, just a 6.7% uh, growth, but very low equity drawdown. So what I'm going to do before we go further is actually uh, apply these settings. So it's not showing me it on the chart. I could scroll down to, oh, there it is there. The one that's highlighted is the one you use. You can just uncheck and recheck. It used to just quickly go to it, but not there. So the one that's highlighted, we want to select that by clicking apply. If I click apply, you'll see that all the parameters on the left-hand side were updated. If you look again, if I apply this one, it'll change. So once you've applied the settings, you can actually save these settings here by clicking on the save icon. And you can save your CBOT parameter settings to your PC hard drive and store it for loading at another stage. Um, but you can also go to the equity graph and just click on any one of these and just see the different views. They're pretty much all the same. I think that's pretty much the best one we could have got. So I'm not going to look any further. So I'm going to leave these settings there. So now we've optimized it. 
we can actually go ahead and run a back test just to see what the results are and look at the trace statistics there. So that's just to show you how to optimize the settings. Um, the next video I'm going to show you is how to back test your settings um, using CTrader and how to actually um, do some little tweaks to get the results that you want. Okay, that's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.